According to Giovanni Baglione the artist was given the name Antivigido, foreseen, because his father had a premonition that he would soon be born during a journey between his native Siena and Rome. His apprenticeship with the Perugian artist Giovanni Domenico Angelini, Gian Domenico Perugino, introduced him to small-scale work, mostly on copper. He gained the nickname Gran Capoxianti because he specialized in painting heads of famous men. David returning triumphant with the head of Goliath, Whitfield Fine Art Grammatica's earliest surviving public commission, an old-fashioned configuration depicting Christ the Savior with St. Stanislaus of Krakow, St. Adalbert of Prague and St. Hyacinth Audrawaz, was painted for the high altar of San Stanislao dei Polica. Characterized by Giulio Mancini as most zealous in his profession, Antivigito began his association with the Accademia di San Luca in 1593. He gained great familiarity with the two protectors of the Academy, Cardinals Federico Borromeo and Francesco Maria del Monte, and was closely attached to the latter, so much that he was elected to the highest office of the association as Principe in 1624. His fortunes were in a way linked with the Cardinal himself, who was much frowned upon by the Barberini, and his death preceded that of Del Monte by four months, in April 1626.